the last time we were on Lake Skillet Road, I missed out. So the boys convinced me I needed to come and see exactly how steep it is for myself. Well, it's still tricky to do with a camera, but I think Roman and Nathan have figured out a way. Roman and Nathan, what are you doing with the sleds? Well, last time we were here at Lake Skillet Road, we were trying to show how steep it is, but we did it with a glass of water, or Nathan did it with a glass of water, and you know, you really can't show how steep it is with a glass of water. So this time I brought two sleds. I have the one with the brakes because I'm larger. So we're gonna go down this hill, and uh, I mean, this is a regular hill that cars go up and down every day, but we're gonna be able to slide down the hill because it's so steep. The steepest road in the United States. Now make that steepest country road, country in, the, road. in the United States. In the United States. States. It's the same thing. Nathan, don't die! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> All right, Nathan, unlike you, my sled has no brakes because real men don't use brakes. Uh, smart men use brakes. Oh, yeah, I'm going to show you. Watch this. Check it out, man. Here we go. Good riddance. No fear, no fear Micah. Come on. Aha! I'm off! I hope he has insurance. <laughs> Alright, I hope that shows you how steep it is because now we're going to take the cars up and see which one does the best. Today I brought with me the Land Rover LR4 and it's got 375 horsepower with a 5.0 liter V8 which means it's a lot of power but there's also a lot of finesse. I think I'm going to prove that you can do this baby in style. I wonder what Nathan brought. Hey, how's it going? I brought the right truck. Yeah, it's a Toyota 4Runner. The best built, and I'll tell you why. Solid rear axle, four link rear suspension, 270 horsepower, 278 pound feet of torque. It's a real truck, and it's gonna go anywhere faster than any of these other trucks. I wonder what Roman brought. Sarah and Nathan, they won't know what hit them because I brought the gun to the knife fight. I've got an Acura RDX, and what makes this car perfect for this is it's small, it's all-wheel drive, and above all, it's turbocharged. So up here at altitude, I don't lose as much power as those two guys do. Right, so as you can tell, me, Nathan, and Sarah are in the uh, LR4 and we're gonna go up Lake Skillet Road and as always, yes, I've got the stopwatch because Pressure, nothing that, like it. That's right, a little bit of pressure. All right, so I'm gonna reset this thing. I think I'm gonna reset it here, hold on, reset. While you do that, I'm gonna turn on my heated steering wheel. You got a heated steering wheel? Yeah, a heated steering wheel, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hold on. Style. Okay, here we go. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> you might wanna put it in gear. <laughs> Now, uh, this road, besides being steep, is also very icy and snowy at this point. So it's gonna be a little tricky. We don't wanna end up, oh my gosh, she's going fast. Sarah, you're scaring me. Sorry. What are you doing, girl? It's a race. <laughs> you put a stopwatch on, so I'm going. As you can tell, we've got a little bit of ice, we got a little bit of dirt, we got a little bit of snow, and we've got- uh, That's a lot of ice. We've got 44, 47 seconds on the oh, stopwatch. 47, but, I can go faster. And we're coming up to the steep part right here. Now it's cool because I can feel some of the systems kick in when it starts to get slick. And you know, I start to panic a little bit, but the car is very reassuring. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. And you are a uh, minute 28 on the clock. So you're doing really well. Last time Nathan took this road in the behemoth uh, Sequoia, I noticed you brought a smaller car this time, Nathan. Yeah, it's faster too. Uh, he did it in like 242, so you are way. It wasn't 242. Yeah, it was. You're way ahead of him, Sarah. Keep it going. Keep it going, girl. That's right. Here we go. We got some more turns up here, though. All right, you're coming to the end, Sarah. All right. Here it comes. Here, here comes the end. Here comes the time. That one up there. And the two barrels. Keep going. Keep two going. Barrels. There it is. Whew. Here we go. That would be 223. All so right. you beat Nathan's time. And you certainly did much better than Nathan. And you made it up here. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. How did the car thank feel? Thank you. 
I love it. It's stable. It's a tall car. There's tons of headroom, but it doesn't feel wobbly. It feels sturdy. It feels like it's got everything taken care of, and all I got to do is have a good time. As always, I've got the stopwatch. Um, you ready to go, sir? Ready when you are. Can you turn your heated steering wheel on? And yes, the back seats are not heated. So, so what? It's cold back here. It's a man's truck. It's what it... Let's go. Let's All go. Right. Let's go. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Start. You're off. Whoa. He's got a little wheel spin going. Now tell me about this bad boy, Nathan. 270 horsepower, 278 pound-feet of torque coming out of a four-liter six-cylinder engine, which happens to be perfectly matched to this truck. It's weird because it doesn't, you don't hear it. Uh, I mean, so there's not much of an exhaust note. Her five-liter V8 sounded a lot better. But in terms of uh, good power, even at high altitude, yeah. This is one of the last body on frame modern vehicles other than pickup trucks. Uh, even Nissan may not have the Xterra around for much longer. Fortunately, there's Jeep, of course, they have their stuff. But uh, other than the Wrangler, I mean, this is one of the few vehicles that has a real frame underneath it. And that helps with everything from off-roading to uh, especially towing. Hey, hey, Sarah, can you translate that? Because I think that's a lot of man talk. Dude, it's a dude's car for dudes. Yeah, look at these big dude. buttons on it. It's like it's like you could be a gorilla and still operate. That's the what I'm talking about. I mean, we've got there's three big knobs down there. There's two big knobs up here and about twelve buttons. Yeah, I mean, two big knobs up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe so. Here comes the finish. Two oh six. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be close. There are the blue barrels, which signify the end. And. Nathan, yeah. Stop. Two, one, five. Yeah. Two, one, five. Oh, Toyota does it the right way. All right, I didn't accelerate toward the barrel at the end. <laughs> I will do that next time. Rematch. That is totally awesome. <laughs> hey, now it's my turn. I'll show them how it's done. All right, how's my hair look, Nathan? <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> All right, you are the keeper of the stopwatch, Sarah. I have got the Acura RDX, which is Acura small crossover, and I've got something that neither of the two cars have. I've got paddle shifters, and I've got all-wheel drive, unlike those two other behemoths, which are some kind of funky four-wheel drive. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what you can do. All right, Sarah, you ready? Sarah, ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Paddle shifters. Cars going, and. Most importantly of all, feel the power. I've got a turbo. We're gonna oh, yeah. die. We're not gonna die. We're gonna oh, die. Yeah. We're gonna die. Oh, look at that car. Look at the way it just sticks to the road. This is where it gets steep. Oh, 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 oh lost my, yeah. Lost yeah, my gear. Yeah, yeah. Oh, lost my traction. Oh, no. <laughs> First gear. Come on, go. I have no traction. I'm floored. Oh, come oh, on. Go, go, go. I'm leaning back. <laughs> there we go. I am floored. This car is floored. Aww. Turbo is full spool. Traction control is completely. How many if I turn the traction control? Don't turn the traction control <laughs> off. You think that'll make it better? No. It right. will make it worse. Trust me. You'll die. All right. All right. 120. 120. All right. Now we're picking up steam. Now we've got traction again. Here we go. Here we go. Coming up to the finish, Sarah. How are we doing? No, 152. Come on, car. Let's go, RDX. Let's go. Let's go. Roll, roll, roll. Here we go. We're going to take a jump off this. No, there's people on the other power. side of that. It's done. 20369. <laughs> what did you have, Nathan? Uh, 202, I think. <laughs> two something, something two. I don't think it was 203, dude. It was something 002. All right, guys, so uh, what did we learn there? The oh, turbocharger up in this altitude, yeah, it's all great, but you lost a lot of traction, dude. I never lost that much traction, ever. And Sarah's truck was even better in that respect. So that part I give to Sarah. In terms of ability, I give it to me. Yeah. So in terms of turbo horsepower, yeah, okay, good car. But you know what? What? This engine would be a lot better on a Honda CRZ than this. If I had to choose today, I'd pick the Land Rover because I just love the way that car drives and feels. How about you, Sarah? You know, I agree. I just, you know, numbers don't do a whole lot for me. I love the civility of it. I love the control of it. And it's just a fun car to drive. Okay, the Rover is really good, but 
I choose the Forerunner. It's a man machine. This is Nathan. This is Sarah. And this is Roman reporting for TFLcar.com.